Hello, I'm Alan Bronco. And I'm Evan Spence. And this is our Earth Space Science Honors Project about alternative energy sources. Which one of them could be using these candles instead of your electricity and lights in your house? Man, I'm hungry. That's good stuff. Evan! Yeah, what? Come here. Yeah, what is this? What is this? What are you doing? We we're supposed to be saving energy, man. What is this? Get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't leave your faucets running. Ever. for six hours I mean dude you got to give it a rest dude you're using up so much energy I mean dude you got to turn it off sometime I mean, Halo's Ugh! I'm here with my friend Tim and uh, I want to ask you a couple questions about alternate energy sources. Um, what if we ran the country on a renewable resource instead of using fossil fuels and all that to power power plants? How do you feel about that? Well, I, I'd rather use renewable resources because fossil, fuel, fossil fuels tear up the ozone. Yeah, and uh, what about, what if uh, all our non-renewable resources, like fossil fuels and all that, what if we ran out and uh, almost immediately had to change to using renewable resources? Do you think that this country is ready for that change? No, I don't think we're ready to make that immediate change. Yeah, and uh, what kind of car do you have? Volkswagen Jetta. And uh, does it get good gas mileage? It's sh medium. Uh, what, do you know about what it is? or? Uh, it's 29 miles per gallon. Alright, <coughs> and uh, how much does it cost you to fill your car up? About 35 to $40. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, hey, that's great. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm here with my friend John, and uh, we're interviewing him on alternate energy sources. So, John, how do you feel about using a renewable resource to power our country and to have something like fossil fuels? I think it's a lot smarter. But I like race cars and stuff, so you gotta figure out a way to make it fast for me to get hooked on it. Yeah. How would you feel about using fuels for our automobiles? Attention associates, Rosie from the Department, could you come to the fitting room, please? Once again, I'm like, on the side that it's a smart idea and we need to do it. But I'm also on the side that if it's not and you can't get the power and the speed out of it, then people like me like that, we're not gonna switch over to it. 
in the event that we ran out of our fossil fuel reserves and we had to switch almost immediately, do you think this country's ready for that kind of change? I don't think so. I think it'd be crazy. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. Alright, thanks for your time. No problem. Alright. I'm here next to this H3 Hummer, you know, nice, black, styling, pimping, cruising, six miles to the gallon. It's cool. It's cool. Not really. It's a gas goes All right, so here I am, and uh, Alan's riding his bike to uh, try and save energy instead of using a car. And uh, <laughs> here he's, he's riding his bike. Look, check this out. So all in all, we've learned, don't let your appliances run when you're not around and you don't need them because it's just a waste. Try, 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 try to walk, ride a bike, skate, whatever, instead of wasting gas because it's just a waste. And um, you know, just kind of uh, think about the environment. It's all the little things we do that add up in the long run to conserve our earth and our natural resources. So, um, thanks for watching and, um, stay classy, San Diego. Well said. Well said, my man. <laughs>